Okay, how you doing, family? How's it going? Um, like today, I had some stuff to do too, so I haven't done. I have to do a lot more study, and again, I'm a little behind on the study. And my sister came over this weekend. She's the one that almost died with a heart attack, and I wanted to talk about God with her, so I had her over a lot, and uh, I didn't do a lot of studying. I need to do studying before I'm even even like to go online, right? So, uh, I haven't been doing my studying, I'll be honest with you. It's not that I'm, I need to read my Bible actually right now. That's what I'm I'm going to do, uh, because I'm behind a little bit and I have no studies for this week. So the only way you get your studying is study the word, right? You can't, uh, be teaching what you're not studying. Okay. So, it's not that I'm falling away. No, no, no. But just sometimes we need a break too, right? From uh, YouTube and it's, uh, you know, gets uh, tiresome. There's no more actually too much new news. I like to go through the Gospels again. But do, I mean, I could teach the Gospels over and over. I love the Gospels. That's the most, my favorite part of the Bible. So, and... It's the most gratifying spiritually too. So the, and uh, I haven't done that. I actually don't need to do much studying for that one because I've read it lots of times and I've taught it like, I think about four times since I've been on YouTube. So, and you should be teaching it every couple months, right? You should be reading uh, the gospels every couple months. You got to stay up on the Gospels, man. It's the most important in the Bible. Why do you think Jesus said the Gospels, right? And sometimes I don't need to come on live. I'm doing stuff right now, like packing away and some uh, luck. Well, my sister is here, so we are behind on a few things, like getting some groceries and stuff. So, yeah, I'm doing that. But, yeah, it's uh, the hurt. All the storms going on are crazy right now, and now COVID's killing a lot of people in India, and there's a war going on that people don't even know about overseas, and uh, I'm not keeping my eye off the prize, okay? Um, that's God. It's not a, it's, it's a gift. It's not a prize, but you know what I'm saying. I'm keeping my eyes looking all forward. I'm not, uh, like this is, all, I'm only on three minutes right now. Let's go through what's going on. And, you know, I do get lots of information. Off, I do get some information off of YouTube. And uh, I don't get all my information from myself. We share it. That's what, what God's uh, children do. They share what they get, okay? So that's the main thing to remember, to keep sharing what you're getting. Keep looking. Yeah, just because I'm not on for a couple days, that's rare for me. So I took Sunday off. I did a big, long one on Saturday. And, uh, and I took, I only did a half hour yesterday because nobody was really there, so. Only 14 people showed, and it's not about how many show, but let's have a look of what's going on, okay? So just for the watchers, Lake Tahoe, earthquake storms, Lebanon, earthquake swarms in Lebanon, locust swarms, okay? This is going to be a real bad thing, even in Canada this year, is locusts, just like the Bible said. All right? These are God's plagues being pouring out. I believe God started his wrath already. He's just implicating it more and more. So, it's just getting more and more. It's like they say, you're outside and you just got through with the calamity. You get inside your house... And you get bit by a snake. That's the time we live in, man. I did study of many books out of the Bible today, like Baruch. You guys should read the Adam and Eve and the Baruch books. 
They're amazing. They speak of the exact same thing that we're living in now of the Bibles. And people, some people say, well, you don't believe in those books. If they're speaking like the Bible does, yes, I do. Some of their books are good. Josh or God even in the Bible refers to Joshua a couple times. There's the book of Joshua. There's Baruch. Baruch is like an Enoch. God took him too. So he could be one that comes back. People, people don't know how it's going to work out. They think it's Enoch and... Uh, uh, oh, now how come I forgot it? Isaiah. Okay. But I'm thinking because Baruch and other books say that he's going to be a witness in this time. One of the witnesses that come back, right? So I wanted to do a video offline because I'm doing stuff around the house. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to be on for two hours today. I don't have enough study to. I don't know what I'm going to study. The Lord doesn't give you something all the time. I mean, and a part of that is you got to work to get it, right? And I didn't this weekend. Doesn't mean I don't love God. I didn't read my Bible enough this weekend. I got to get... That's what I'm going to do after I'm done. Po well, this video's posting up. I'm going to start doing that, okay? So, I never forget... Like, I miss reading my Bible, all right? That's the only book I like reading. So, it's alive and, and something... I'm putting a... You know, like... I'm not doing it as much this last couple of days. Doesn't mean it's going to be like that all the time. Okay, so people, people are resting. Not a lot of people are watching, and do you know what I mean? And it should be the best time to be on. But the main thing is, is we keep ourselves going at all times, even when I'm not on. We have to be reading our Bible twice a day. Uh, these books even talk about med meditate on the Bible twice a day. That's pretty much a commandment. I, I didn't. Nobody realizes that that's pretty much a commandment. That's a law, a statue of of God. That's something He kind of expects you to do. So don't ever stop reading your Bible. I don't know how many times. I give Bibles out to people and I ask them, have you started reading? No, I haven't started reading yet. Well, you're never going to learn them. You're going to run out of time doing that, okay? So you can give it all as many excuses, especially people that stay home. There's no excuse that they can't pick up their Bible. For an hour in the morning when they wake up and have their coffee and pick up their Bible at night. Now, that's why I'm doing it, because I feel guilty when I'm not reading the Bible. I'm not studying to prove myself worthy, like the Bible says. You can't be a lazy Christian, and I can't get into being a lazy Christian right now. I just had a weekend. I, my sister almost died, and I haven't seen her in like four months, so I had a busy weekend. I still got up Saturday and made a long video Read my Bible Saturday and Saturday night, but yesterday, I missed reading my Bible all day, Sunday. So I did a little study, so I read a little bit, but that's not enough. Shame on me. Truly, shame on me. We should be reading the Bible twice a day, an hour in the morning and an hour at night. Okay, it keeps you filled and I can tell you right now, if not, you're going to have problems with the sin. Right? If you're like, especially if you're like me. But this, if I can do it, which is hardcore, anybody can do it. It's It's been a tough road for me. I've been, I was vexed. So, to come out of a vexing <laughs> can take years. And some people get it done right away, but God had me do it the way the path I did. It's different than everybody else's. No one's path and the way that he brings you fully to him is all at one time. Because if you were to sin after you became, 
you had the Holy Spirit in you and you sin, you're done. So, but you, you'll learn to fear them because you know when you do something wrong that you're going to have to reap it. Okay, and I'll tell you that right now. And I'm doing, you know, and I shouldn't be even talking much about it because it doesn't matter how we're all doing. I'm doing way better than I thought I would, but that's all I, I don't want to talk about that because then I get challenged. I can't be lazy and thinking, oh, I know it all now. I don't need to read it anymore. No, you got to keep reading it. Each time you read it, you get something out of it. Eventually, when you've done, your whole book is, your whole Bible should be circled, right? So, yeah. And we got to keep reading our Bible and searching for the Lord, man, and seeking his faces, even in our times like this. It's making me want to wake up, actually, right now. So, and come back online. But, you know, I've been teaching a lot in the last uh, last couple months. And I've kind of poured it all out. Now I have to study for more, more of it. He'll fill me up. That's how Jesus works, right? He fills you up with his water of life. His water of life is that you're helping someone else come to life, not die, and not lose their soul. Okay, that's the main thing here too. Loving thy neighbor and remembering the gospels. We gotta keep pounding this stuff through. Maybe I'll get maybe what I'll do is I'll jump back into the gospels, such as I love it so much. It tells you so much truth, and people are scared to tell the, some of the lines that I got that say, uh, in the end times I bring the a angels to sever from the the good from the wicked, the just, whatever you want to say, from the evil. It says it in a couple different books. It says it a couple different times in the Bible. And that's why I remember you guys. Don't listen to false doctrines. You're not always going to get teachings from me. This summer I'm going to be off. I'll be on. It's just I'm not going to be on for like two hours every day. You know, I'll do probably a 45-minute video every day off my phone or whatever. And I'll be still reading my Bible and studying and riding my motorbike. And, you know, there's no vacation. Even on a vacation, you still have to do, still have to give to God because you still need to be giving out to people. You need to give time to God and you need to get out what you learn from God to the people. That's what it's about, right? It's about loving thy neighbor. So to love thy neighbor, hold on a sec, I gotta grab some. You better love thy neighbor more than yourself, okay? Who cares about yourself? That's why the studying, prove yourself to be worthy. Because your job is to be worthy is to help your brother eventually. That's what it's all about. The tree, if your tree's not giving out fruit, it'll be hewn down. It'll be chopped down and it'll be hacked down and it'll be thrown into the fire and burnt. So I I can't stay away from YouTube, okay? I have to do a video every day. Now, I'm putting all the impact into this one video of 20 minutes. I'm not talking three hours about the same thing. I'm not going to do it. So, and if you've gotten on with the Bible, you might, like today I listened to the book of Baruch all day. So I always put my time in. I worked at six hours given to God. I prayed this morning, but I got up too late. I woke up late. I had to get going to work. I was almost late for work. So I didn't get to read my Bible. So now I got to double up on my Bible reading. That's just the way it is. I give back in the measures that I'm always giving. It's the same with the people. Just it's more compact. It's not a two-hour Bible study. I'm not always going to do a two-hour Bible study in the summer. In the winter, you can guarantee. We only get so many months of summer here, and I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm still going to do 
serve my time and uh, get way ahead on my studies, get filled right up with the Lord, get some stuff right. You always got to get something right. Like I say, when you get through the door, there's a calamity outside and you put your arm on the wall and now you're getting bit by a scorpion. It's tough times. Even these guys that were talking about the books today, uh, and they call Jesus Yahushua, okay? Just like uh, Yahuwah is God. So that's what we're calling them from now on. You guys are... You guys should know that. That's the original words for it. And I'd rather use that too. Okay, so I'm transferring that to Yahushua HaMashiach and Yahushua or Yahshua. A lot of people say Yahshua. But it's it's actually Yahuwah. And Jesus is Yahushua, God's Savior. That's what that means, right? So... Hamashiach, God's Savior. And that's the one we all have our hope in. And our hope holds on to Him only. As we're holding on to Him. Right? Our hope is in us holding on to Him and hoping that we'll be worthy enough to cross the finish line, not the red finish line. The one that has nothing but light on the other side, right? So reaching our stairway to heaven and reaching at the end of that stairway and I'll know what you have to go through. Just keep believing in Jesus. That's so important, man. Even through the toughs, even through everything, keep reaching out to Jesus. We're all fighting, right? And it's a war like no one's... You've been built for that war, though. You didn't realize... You've been built for that war. If you don't join into that war, you don't get into the glory afterwards of winning. Okay, so this is taking back our land. Our true land is getting our new body. Resurrected body. There is no resurrected body. I heard these guys saying resurrected body. No. The wages of sin is death, okay? So everybody's going to die according to their sin. And uh, I had a bad sin train and I'm having lots of heart problems right now. And I just, I don't even want to get into my problems because who cares about me? God will take care of Jesus, will take care of me. My time comes when he says it's time to go home. But I think I went through my tribulation and most of my great tribulation because I, I just don't even want to talk about any more than that. I've walked through some... Per My whole life has been almost great tribulation, by the way. Not just tribulation. From the time I was born, okay? And I've been hated when I was in, in school. And, oh, they loved me for a week and hated me for a week. You know what I mean? But they didn't ever hate each other. Only me. They all picked on me and I wasn't... I've never felt a part of this world, okay? Never. So, and I never will be. I mean, there's things that I do, yeah. Hey, man, I got to do, I have a wife. If I don't do some things, I shouldn't have a wife. That's the way she looks at it. She's a little different than me. And I love my wife, and I put a lot of time to God, and God knows that. So... Because I constantly don't stop thinking about God, even when I'm not studying for him. Sorry, I'm walking around, guys, and just trying to keep my, my energy going because I eat junk. And when I should be concerned about my uh, diabetes, I'm not. But you know what? I believe in Jesus is going to keep me no matter what I got until the end. He can. He, you don't believe me, he can heal you. What are your white blood cells doing your white blood cells are like warriors. And when you get a... This is what they're putting into the vaccine. Is it's They're putting COVID into it, man. Okay, so that's why they have to probably freeze it. They're putting a disease in it because our bodies have the cure for it. And if your body doesn't... If God isn't going to do the work through you, your body may not have the cure for it. 
And if it's your time to go home, God may say, well, this is a good time for to pull him out. So don't say, well, you got, you didn't get your shot. And that, that's why you died or vice versa. You got your shot. That's why you died. We're not ones to decide why people die. We even figure that out. Even our own deaths, Jesus did not. Jesus was the only, sorry, Jesus was the only person in flesh, God among flesh to dwell among flesh, like the Bible says, to do that. All right? That's why he's our Savior. And he works through your blood. That's why he said life is in the blood. He can change the conditions of your blood. Only he as Well, you can a little bit. You can fool around with them a little bit, but not like Jesus. He can fully heal you through the, your blood. That's, that's another reason why he said life is in the blood. See? It's like a thermal gauge in you. He can, and he's the adjuster of it. People don't actually realize that. Or else a demon would take you over and get you sick and kill you as quick as he can. But you can't get cancer unless God says it's time for him to get cancer. Okay? Now they have cures. Some people get lucky, like the Rolling Stones guy did. They're so old that I wonder why they called them Rolling Stones. Because they last forever. Uh huh? They're like stones. They stay around and stay around. But they can afford it too. They're getting like the best doctor in the world, best cancer doctors in the world. So it's different for them. We don't get that luck here. So they pay for theirs. So that's why they get the best ones in the world and they're cured of it. But it's only for a short time. Like, you notice how all the evil people are most of, well, some good, some Christians are prospering, okay? And some aren't. Well, that's the way it is. You don't worry about if you're prospering or not. Who cares how much money you got or you don't got? Right? It's not about how much money you got. See, you wish to be blessed and wish to get blessings and you got to quit asking for money being that. God knows what you need before you get it. So that's the, that's, that's the problem with some people, right? For me, it doesn't matter how much money I got. I've been both places. I've had some money and I've been poor most of my life. This time I'm prospering. I did I don't go... Oh, I'm better than you because I have I have more money than you. I can pay my bills. That's ridiculous. So, you prosper like that. God's not going to give you money and then you turn and go, Oh, I don't serve, need to serve the God anymore. I got everything I need. Talks about that exactly like that in the Bible. No, you don't. Jesus is all you need. That's the problem. People say, Well, I need this. I need a doctor. I need... I have tons of dental work. I have missing teeth everywhere and holes all over inside my teeth. And you know what? I'm just living to what I got. I don't even go to a dentist. And that may be my bad on that one, but I believe I'm in God's hands and Jesus' hands right now. That's the faith you got to have, not a mustard seed faith anymore. Anybody's been watching my show, their mustard seeds should have grown. As I get into the nitty gritty and the Holy Spirit gives me the nitty gritty to give you, not for me to keep by myself. I'm not serving the Lord when I'm holding in his word. I'm serving myself. Okay? We give ourselves to the Lord. We have to be looking for every angle to save. I tried to save my uh, neighbor today again. I had him in my house, invited him in. And, uh, he knows that we don't come from monkey. He knows that there's a God. He knows that there's an evil. He's just not grabbing yet. Maybe he will. I teach him a little bit at a time. I only give him to what he can handle. Once he changes the conversation, then you know. 
If they change the conversation on you, it's time to stop. Okay, so that's when you learn how to stop. From teaching, try, like when I first gave myself to God, man, I tried ramming it down people's throats. You can't do that. You can only give a little bit at a time. And, and God, and the Holy Spirit will actually give you discernment and how much to give at a time, too. It's crazy. He gives you everything. Like, I cannot not do a show today. I just didn't want to do it live. I don't need to do it live all the time. You guys pretty much see the same thing out of it. Um, as long as I do one, I like to do it about 45 minutes. I'm on 25 minutes. And I'm just letting the Holy Spirit speak through me. And that's what we got to do. Keep it up. You got, I got a job to work. Now my bones. Your bones are going to get real sore too, by the way, everybody. The barometric pressures are getting worse and worse, right? So, because um, I can tell it through my back. I can feel it when I wake up in my back. I know everything by how my back feels, right? So, even in uh, the Schumann res residence right now, is showing a big round object, okay, a sphere. That's an angel. Okay. So they're not a sphere. They're not a planet. They're an angel. Okay. Those are angels. That's what he talks about in the, in the, in the book of Enoch. So if everybody has time to listen to something, uh, go onto YouTube and go into the book of Enoch. Knock, and you have to use uh, it depends which Enoch you listen to you want to listen to Enoch make sure it's Enoch 1 most of them now are Enoch 1 because they figured out 2 and 3 are the 2 that were adjust had adjustments in them that shouldn't have right so and then the book of Baruch says the exact time that we're living in right now I listened to 2 3 hours of it today Tomorrow I'm going to listen to the whole thing again. I listened to guys talk about it. And they only got through like five sentences because everybody had so many questions about everything else. So tomorrow I'm going to listen to the whole Baruch at work. Right? See, the, this is information. And see, Baruch, you can tell it's the Spirit of God talking. It's the exact same stuff that it talks about as in the Bible. Uh, the copper scrolls they found. Older than any book that they know of, some of the scrolls. Okay. So there's lots of... And people go, oh, they took that... Uh, God took that out of the Bible. No, we didn't. They did. God said, don't change or fiddle or take away or add. And they took away books. The Bible should have been, and the Apocrypha. The Bible should have been all those books. If you put all the books together with the Bible, it matches. Okay? So... How do you get all these books from different years that say the same thing? People only live if they're lucky a hundred years. How are you going to guess something 2,000 years in future? Build the Bible's fake. It's all made up. No, it's not. How do you do that? That's supernatural, man. So... I don't know, it's so easy to see that there's a God. Even the scientists, even watch what they do. They sing about God and Christmas Christ. I mean, I don't know how people don't get it, man. It's all over, God and Satan. And people just don't get it. They think this that there's no God. I just don't understand how they can think that right now. God is everything. He's made their whole track for them, and they don't even realize it. In his, in their blood, he, we have warriors that will go to work for us. When Jesus says, 
If we keep sinning, then he gives us death. Quicker. Death will come on quicker. And some of them, some of them not, because they use the technology and Satan stuff to keep alive. That's science. You know what I mean? They have cures for things that they're holding back on. They had a cure for cancer with this laser machine in the 1800s, okay? So, if you're one of the elite, you can, you can live longer, okay? Unless the, de unless the devil's given you too much riches, then he gets to come back for you sooner. The richer you get, most people, the stupider they get. But I'm not saying the stupider. Most people they get, less they think about God. Oh, I don't need God. I got all this. Huh. What are you, you going to do in the end when you said, I, I didn't need God? When you did need him. He's everything. Him and Jesus are everything. Sorry. Yahuwah and Yahushua are everything. I got to get on that kick because I like it better. I think it sounds cool. He had a cool name. Yeah. So, anyways, it's 30 minutes now. I'm going to, I think I'm going to jump off. So, yeah, I told you guys all the news for the t today and all the news that I got yet. Mike's coming on, so I might be on my Mixler. If you have my Mixler, M-I-X-L-R app, go to your apps and press M-I-X-L-R. Then you'll get this Mixler app. I'll show you what it looks like. It should look like that and say Mixler. Then you'll get this and you go listen. You push listen. And up comes this screen. You go into that thing, your search bar over there in the corner, and you press R, you go into that, and you press R-O-D-P. There it is. That'll come up, R-O-D-P, or council time, R-O-D-P, but I prefer you go through mine because I'm using it, and And there you go, and you see that guy there on the bottom. And you follow that, and you, you know, I'm going to be on with my mic guy. He has, sometimes, you know what, he takes days off too. We have other, it's not like we're fully not giving ourselves to the Lord, because I wouldn't be doing this channel if I didn't care about the people and serve the people, Okay. That's why I have this channel, is to serve the people, and this is where I do it through. Okay, okay guys, well, I'm going to let you go. It's only 33 minutes. God bless you. I'll be on tomorrow for sure. I've got to get going on my study so that I can be. I think I'm going back to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I think it's the most important staying in Revelations and um, I was thinking maybe, um, anyways, I'll do, I'll figure out what I'm going to do. I, I got to, we got to finish off Deuteronomy. We started it. So I might as well finish Deuteronomy first. Yeah, because you can't start one and not finish it out, right? So today was just a pep rally talk. Keep everybody going and. So, hey man, I make, I'm going to make a video absolutely every day. It might be one of these ones, but not as, not much. No, I love to be on my YouTube. I really feel the spirit when it goes through me because I'm really teaching you one-on-one, -on -one, eh? So that brings, that makes the spirit even Oh. Wow.
Yeah, it's it's weird. When you're going one on one and you're teaching live, it's basically behind the pulpit, right? So you need to have a lot of study to be proved that you're worthy enough to even teach his people. That's what I believe that means. Because that's what he wants you to do. How are you going to do that if you don't read? How are you going to teach other people? Hmm. What you listen to helps you. Don't get me wrong. It helps you very much. It gives you, it, it reassures what the Bible's saying if they're speaking of the Bible. And it pla implants it in you. It helps wear it into you so that you're not doing what you did when you were the old man. Right? We have to die to the old man. Well, these are so bad for me. Okay, God bless you guys. I'm out. See you tomorrow.